Hey everyone, I'm Bradley, and welcome to Zalangle Nerd News, the show where I talk about the biggest and most interesting pieces of comic book news from the past week. First up, we have the first images from the upcoming X-Men Dark Phoenix. I'm not gonna lie, I sometimes forget this movie is coming out. I've been more focused on the other two X-Men films coming out next year, New Mutants and Deadpool 2. Which, as a quick side note, I didn't realize until I was gathering the news stories for this episode that Deadpool 2, right now, is actually being referred to as Untitled Deadpool Sequel. It's listed with that name on several websites. Like, that could actually be the title of the movie. Which, if any movie could get away with that, it would be Deadpool. But back to Dark Phoenix. There were several photos released, and of course, the highlight here is Jean Grey. This is the first thing that really made me interested in seeing it. I mean, I was obviously always going to see it, but after Apocalypse, my anticipation hasn't been the highest. Especially since barely anything is known about the plot, and I wasn't sure what characters they would decide to bring back. But look how incredible Sophie Turner looks as Dark Phoenix. This is beyond better than how the whole Phoenix situation was handled previously, even though I love Famke Jansen. And there were a few other images released as well, but they don't give away too much. So we'll just wait for a trailer to see what kind of film this will turn out to be. Speaking of X-Men, we also got a new poster for the next film in the X-Men franchise, New Mutants. It was said that this will be more of a horror movie than anything else, and the trailer we got a few weeks ago pretty much confirmed it. It's interesting how Fox is really expanding their horizons with this universe. At first, it was just the X-Men films, then a couple of Wolverines, and now we have X-Men, Logan, Deadpool, and now this. And we supposedly still have X-Men and Gambit movies on the docket, so Channing Tatum better start practicing his Cajun accent. You know what happens when I touch somebody. You want to end up in the hospital? Maybe it's worth it, no? Now this just dropped, so I actually had to go back and add this to the video while I was making it, but the first teaser trailer for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was released. So if you want to see it, which I think you should, then go ahead and leave my video, check it out, and then come back. Link is in the description. I don't want to ruin it for you if you want to be surprised. Okay, three, two, one, great. Either now you've seen the trailer, or you don't care. This kind of came out of nowhere. I've known an animated Spider-Man movie was in development since around 2015, and it was announced to have Miles Morales Spider-Man, instead of the classic Peter Parker version. But I didn't think much of the project, it didn't sound like something I would rush out to see. But then this trailer drops, and the title is revealed to be Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I absolutely love it. I still don't know what the story is about, but at least by the visuals, it looks stunning. The city and the cinematography looks fantastic. It was mostly just a teaser, but it makes me really eager to see more. And I'm not gonna lie, I went back to watch it like 20 times. <laughs> Next up, Jack Dylan Grazer, recently seen in It, has been cast in the Shazam movie. No, he won't play Billy Batson because Asher Angel has that role, but he will be Freddie Freeman, who becomes Captain Marvel Jr. I'm curious, if he does become a superhero in the movie, like in the comics, what are they going to call him? Captain Marvel Jr. won't make any sense, since Captain Marvel is now called Shazam. Shazam Jr.? I don't know. I think he'll just be his kid friend that he can tell his secret identity to. Also, fun fact, Captain Marvel Jr. is Elvis Presley's favorite character, so it's cool that we'll finally have him on the big screen. It's been a long wait. At least for me. Lastly, there was a banner for the upcoming film, Venom, seen in Brazil Comic Con. It doesn't show any official images, but there is some cool art promoting it. This isn't huge news, but it's technically the first thing we've seen of the production, so it really adds tangibility to the film that's been trying to be made since 2007. Venom is set to be released October 5th, 2018, and it stars Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock slash Venom. I'll keep you updated on any more news about it. Well, that's it for the biggest and most interesting pieces of comic book news from the past week. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, please like and subscribe. It really helps me be able to keep making these. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Nuff said, and Excelsior.